Weather holes with Laura Tobin. Hello. Well, it's still very cold. It was a cold, icy start this morning. It's still pretty chilly outside for some of us. Temperatures are struggling to rise above freezing. And where we've had the rain or the snow showers of yesterday, still pretty icy out and about on those roads. So don't forget, if you're travelling in the next few days, just leave a little bit of extra time, particularly first thing in the morning, because it will be cold and frosty. Now, the radar from earlier shows where we saw the snow across eastern Scotland with all that disruption, but it's in the south where things have really got exciting through the morning. Rain pushing northwards, greeting by, greeted by colder air, means we've had a little bit of sleep, a little bit of snow, even some freezing rain. Now with mild air moving in from the south, it's turning more readily to rain, but onto those cold surfaces where temperatures outside are still freezing, it could well be pretty slippy out and about on the roads and pavements. Something to be aware of if you're out and about this afternoon. From the southwest, skies will slowly brighten, but for Wales, turning increasingly cloudy with rain in the south, across the hills, just becoming a little wintry for a time. Now to the north of this band of rain, namely for Northern Ireland and for Scotland, it's a very different story. It's beautiful and sunny, but it is still very cold. Bitterly cold, particularly when we've got the snow cover fields in Scotland, for many temperatures will struggle to rise above freezing. Cold and frosty, still pretty icy for northern areas of England as well. And then overnight tonight, perhaps a little wintry flavour to things as this band of rain pushes north across parts of Wales and the Midlands and into northern England. A little bit of snow, a couple of centimetres down to lower levels. And again, where it falls onto those colder surfaces, just beware, it could turn a little bit icy. Temperatures in the north tonight will be bitterly, bitterly cold. Clear skies with temperatures down to minus 10 degrees in Glasgow. Significantly colder than that across Highland, Scotland, minus 16 degrees. And in eastern areas where we've seen all the snow over the last 24 hours or so, it will be very tricky with driving with all the ice around. So for tomorrow, well, it will be quite cloudy in the south with outbreaks of rain, perhaps a little wintry at times across high ground across northern England and Wales. But a milder feel to things in the south, 6 to 7 degrees in the north. A very cold day after that very cold start. And for Santa on Christmas Eve, well, no, not too many problems. A very cold one in the north, a cloudy one in the south. And for Christmas Day itself, it looks as though it's set to turn increasingly cloudy with some outbreaks of rain. Quite a grey day on Christmas Day. But for northern areas, it looks as though it will be pretty cold and frosty. As always, there's a full five-day forecast available on our weather website. Laura, thank you very much. At half past one, a reminder of our top